He comes from country music royalty, and he's been the voice of Monday Night Football for over 20 years. But it's not all about music for this country superstar. He knows a little about politics, too. That's right. And join us right now to break down the 2012 GOP field is country singer superstar Hank Williams Jr. Good morning well, to you, sir. Hi there, guys. Where what? are you? Oh, I'm sitting here in Nashville at the little studio. Okay. Good. Uh, you know, your body language says uh, leave you alone. <laughs> uh, your hands are yeah, crossed. Whatever, you're shaking yeah. us off. Okay. Hey, since you I'd rather be up there. I'd rather be there looking at Gretchen. Well, there you oh. go. Well, well, we, good, we morning get you you good morning to you, too. Good morning to you, too. Let's just have a little How intimate discussion right here. I'd love to pick Go your right brain ahead. about politics. Yeah. All right. So uh, I'll start with a, an, an easy question. Who do you like in the GOP race? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody? You remember, the you, remember, you remember the golf game they had, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. You remember the golf game? Banger. That was one of the biggest political mistakes ever. Why? Why? That, that turned a lot of people off, <laughs> you know, watching, uh, you know, it just didn't go over. <laughs> you mean it when, when John over. Boehner played golf with President Obama? Oh, yeah, yeah. And Biden and Kasich, yeah, uh-huh. Okay. What did, what did yeah. you not like about it? It seems to be a really pivotal moment for you. Come on, come on. It'd be like Hitler playing golf with Netanyahu, okay? Okay. Not hardly. In the country this shape is in? The shape this country's in, I mean. <laughs> no. I don't so, know. yeah, I, the, I don't understand the one that, that analogy, actually. Well, it's. Well, it's I'm glad there. you don't, brother, because a lot of people do. Well, you know, they're the enemy. They're the enemy. Who's the enemy? Uh, Obama and Biden. And, uh, are you kidding? The Three Stooges. That's only the two. The one that makes the most sense is Herman Cain. Herman Cain makes more sense. So you do have a favorite. Uh, Herman Cain of, of the guys who are, and gals who are running for president. Right now. Okay. Right now, he makes more sense than any of them. Because last time around, you uh, you were a supporter of uh, Governor Sarah Palin. Boy, was I. Do yeah. you want her to get in this uh, time? I don't know. You know, like I said, guys, they've turned a lot of people off. The, the, I mean, look at USA Today poll. 89% said Congress should be completely replaced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I agree with them. You know, the health care bill left, you know, it, it's not going to fly either. It's going to be a historic election. I know that. A lot so, of people so, are motivated. So one thing I'm gathering from, from your uh, very emphatic statements this morning is that you are not a big fan of, of the parties coming together at all to kind of try and find compromise. No. All right. Uh, let's on. talk about we're, Monday Night we're, Football. We're more, polari we're more polarized than we've ever been, guys. You know it. You know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We're polarized. You know that. Yeah, well, you We're didn't. You didn't because right you, you used you used the name of one of the most hated people in all of the world to describe the the. Uh, I, I <laughs> well, think the president, true. which, which yeah, that is true. But okay. I'm telling you, like it is that you know that just wasn't a good thing. It, it just didn't fly. All right. So anyway, you don't like you like Fred Thompson said. You don't want to ask me a question because I'm going to give you too straight of an answer. Well, <laughs> you, you'll talk about something else. All right. Talk let's, about something else. let's switch to uh, something that happens on Mondays, in particular Monday nights. Can you believe it has been 20 years since you have asked people if they were ready for some football? Only in America, a one-year deal that turned into seven Super Bowls and three Emmy Awards and all that good stuff. No kidding. You still remember the day you got the phone call? Never forget it. Never forget it. Yeah. How would you like to do this? I said, oh, I don't believe that. It said, oh, yeah. And... Uh, one-year deal that keeps on going sure is fun. Uh, you also have something and else. next week, we'll have Detroit. Uh, we'll be on TV for the first time in 10 years going into the Monday night game at 4-0 and with uh, one of my rowdy friends, Mr. Kid Rock, and uh, we'll be sitting up there having a good time. Oh, so you're going to the game. That's great. And a big comeback yes, in the fourth sir. quarter. Uh, the Lions 4-0. It seems like a misprint, but it's all true. All right, let's talk about your dad's re uh, of rare and unreleased recordings that are now coming out. It's called The Legend Begins, a three-CD set, correct? That's right. Where'd you find it? The Legend Begins, right here. Very nice. From 1938, <clears throat> the very first songs, all the way to 1952, there's three CDs. It's amazing, you know, never say never. It's amazing how many of these... Uh, Treasures have been found in the last few years. And with, 
Uh, really fun. There we see some of your dad in action. Now, with the mother's best collection, I understand some of those uh, master recordings were just thrown in the garbage and somebody finally found them? That's true. Yeah. Uh, these, are, these are called the Health and Happiness Show. And the mother's best is on another set that has 16 CDs. All right, well, if people want to check it out, uh, the Mother's Best recordings, as you said, thrown away. Now you can get them at, uh, at the store. So, Hank Williams, uh, have a great football season. Have fun at the game. Bye. All right. I just want to say that we disavow any of those comments or analogies that he made. At least uh, I'm going to say that. Disavow the analogy between uh, Hitler and the president. Absolutely define it. Next on the run.